Okay, we're back. What we're going to do today, the camera right here, is we're going to work on a hitch. We had a hitch on this a while back ago, and then we uh, put these metal bumpers on. So now I'm going to make a new hitch for this. So what we're going to do is flip this upside down. And what I'm thinking of, this one should be fairly easy. Is right here, these two holes in this bumper will be perfect to go ahead and design my hitch or make my little hitch. And then I can drill a couple holes there to match and mount it to the back of the bumper. Alright, well let me get my material and stuff out. And I, What I've been using is this hard plastic stuff I've got. And it'll work pretty nice. And I've just been kind of shaping it into some kind of rounded ends and then I put a, a ball hitch on it so let me get this drawn out real quick and I'll be right back <clears throat> okay what I've done was I took the little piece of plastic made it the right width I used my um, little caliber here and for the dingo is 37.6 and then these holes were exactly an inch apart so 25.6 and I I took my little uh, liquid stop there my Loctite and just kind of made a round spots as you see with the bottle then I came out that's just how I got my design out <clears throat> what I'm gonna do now is take the bumper off and uh, go ahead and bolt this on so I can center out my um, where my hitch is going to go. Get me a couple little stainless steel screws here. If I can get them out of the package. been roughing this plastic up so it would take the paint real well. And I'm going to make sure I paint this one right away because I put the other ones on. Now I got to go through the trouble of taking it all apart to, to get it painted. So we're going to do this one right away. You know how you get to procrastinating. So. Let's put these in. I should have enough room on here to put a little nylon nut on that and lock those in. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to take my bumper off to get to it. So, so once I get this on and figured out where I want the, <coughs> the hole for the ball hitch to go on. Alright, so that should come out pretty well. Now basically I can just put this one right on the end and I should have enough room for it to swing around so all I need to do is center that. Alright, well let me do that and I'll be right back. Alright, now we got our hole in here. So when this goes on, that'll be bolted into place. Our little trailer ball will be right there. So I'm going to paint this up real quick. and uh, I'm just going to use some of this flat rust oleum so it should dry pretty fast. So let me paint this up and I'll be right back. Okay. Now we got a little bracket painted. I believe this will be good. I'm not, it ain't quite dry so... We're going to let this dry just a little bit more. I was just letting you see flat black. I'm going to go ahead and start digging out the uh, little connector I'll need to make it hook up to the trailer. And I'll be right back. Okay. Now what we've done was I took the bumper off. 
and I stuck the bracket on and put a couple little nylon knots on there. Used the mushroom head so that they don't stick on anything. Now we're just putting the bumper back on. Pulling the wire back through. I put tie wraps on my wires to keep them still and then I I can just unplug them if I need to. There we go. Now we got our hitch on. And the only thing I'm kind of worried about is this nut here. This will all fit fine. But I'm afraid if I put a nylon nut on it. that's going to catch on things but I know for a fact if I don't it's just going to come loose so I guess we might as well put one on there and if it becomes a problem I'll try and figure out some other way of doing it <clears throat> I really come to love these little button cap things that you get from uh, Cow RC little button box there. I got all my different sizes in there. It's great. Put a little nylon nut on here. World's most used tool in RC. Get my bumper bolts back in. Or the little pins. I want to upgrade the thing that holds my bumper to an aluminum one so this will be my weakest point all right and if that gets to be a bother what I might do is take my Dremel tool and cut the excess off if it starts to hook on things but, well there you go now we got us a, a nice hitch for the back of the truck and it tends to blend pretty well doesn't look too bad I don't think all right well let's get the trailer on here and see what it looks like all right I'll be back in a second okay here we go a little test <laughs>
need to tighten the uh, mount up a little bit, but other than that, on the trailer, everything towed well. It's a shame with a big old tire right there, you can't see the guys or anything, but uh, does well, comes off all right. So everything tows well, and that's good. Hitch looks good. Kind of really don't see it, and that's what I was hoping for. All right, well, that's it for the little hitch update on this, and I hope you like it. So please subscribe, please like, and please comment. Until next time, bye.